Colosseum today exists in virtual isolation from other ancient monuments, but it wasn't the case in antiquity. So before we have the Colosseum, we have a sprawling complex, the Domus Aurea of Nero, extending from the Esquiline Hill through to the Natural Valley or Depression where the Colosseum will eventually be constructed. That's where he constructs a stagnum or lake for his private enjoyment, and all the way up into the Palatine Hill, at least 100 acres in size. Now the lake is drained out and you get the Colosseum constructed in that natural depression. But it's not the only structure in antiquity around that part of the city. It's surrounded by a whole series of structures, many of which are part and parcel of the activities that take place inside the Colosseum. So at least by the time of Domitian, we have four gladiatorial schools, one of which has been excavated, the Ludus Magnus. This is the gladiatorial school where Maximus in the film Gladiator is locked up. But there were other gladiatorial schools. One is named after Dacia, one is named after Gaul, and one is the morning show, the Ludus Matutinus, which is referring to the morning games, which are men trained to fight against wild animals. We also have an armory, because we have to keep our armor locked up separately from the gladiators. Just read your history on Spartacus to know how dangerous gladiators can be. There's a hospital, there's a morgue. There are people that are in charge of the stage sets, which are erected as part of the spectacle inside the Colosseum. Then there are porticos, and there are going to be plenty of opportunities for people to buy and sell all types of goods in the piazza surrounding the Colosseum area. And by the time of Hadrian, the Colossus of Nero on the Velia Hill is moved down towards and placed right next to the Colosseum. A very important monument which exists into the time of the fascist era is the Metasudans. That's built by Domitian. It's a large monumental fountain wiped out in the time of Mussolini. But it had a precedent. From excavations beneath it, we know that there was a large fountain already on the spot in the time of Augustus. One of the latest things to be put in the vicinity is, of course, the Arch of Constantine. So when we have a look at the Colosseum today, it looms large over your experience of antiquity, but it was not alone in ancient times. It was surrounded by all kinds of peripherally related structures. Such was ancient Rome.